Hello and welcome to cashier training. General information for cashiers. Always bring a pen and your encoded ID card. Always check the receipt paper in your assigned register. If it is almost out, replace it with the new roll from the storeroom. Make sure you give good customer service. Give a smile and some small talk while bringing them up. Most of the customers are regulars. Make them feel like their needs are the most important at that moment. People are in a hurry, so be aware of that. Offer to help if other lines are full and direct the traffic to you. We sell phone cards for $5 plus tax. You can find them in the blue bag. They will either be in the deli area under the register, in the safe, or in the drawer of the register by the inside door. Ask the line not to block the door. Familiarize yourself with where buttons are on the machine. Some products don't scan and have buttons on the machine. Be knowledgeable of where they are. When you come in, always check if there are specials that you need to know about. Make sure to keep yourself busy during your shift. Sometimes products get moved around and sold, so the area no longer looks appealing to buyers. Arrange products in a way that is appealing to the buyer and in a way that they can see what is available. An example is moving the masubis to the front so the customers can see them. Make sure that if you were a customer, you would find the arrangement appealing and more likely to buy that product. Keep the salad bar and cocoa machine areas clean. You may have to refill both. Make sure the ice in the salad bar is free from food and that the cocoa machine catcher is emptied and cleaned. You must always change the trash when it is full. You are responsible for the four trash cans in the eating area. Please take the trash out to the dumpster by the ballroom. You can always ask the supervisor for help. If you have some downtime, restock the C-Store. Arrange products and misplace things back where they belong. Also keep an eye out for expiration dates. Help in other areas if you are asked by the management. Always keep an eye on the C-Store to prevent theft. Be sure to stock up on all paper goods. You can find them in the storeroom. Make sure to keep paper bags at your register to bag products with. You must also stock up food items including muffins, bananas, and sushi. Keep an eye on the pizza and the soup. Make sure the condiment area is always clean and full. You may need to put condiments back that have been left on the tables. You must wipe tables, countertops, and chairs along with spot sweeping, the dining area, and the service area during the entire shift. Be sure to do your temperatures at the appropriate times and for the appropriate foods. Also make sure the machines are on and warm. Make sure the food in the salad bar is in the ice and not on top of it. Familiarize yourself with menu, storeroom, machine, and the money. You will need to know about every section's items. Burger combos come with a large drink, and deli combos come with a large drink also, with a small chip that is next to the deli section. Pay attention to the way that you handle the money, and use the machine. Give that correct change along with the receipt. Every cashier must attend PCI training. This is a separate training that the school requires. If you do not complete this training, you cannot be a cashier. You are in charge of the Coca-Cola cups. If a customer wants a cup, they will ask you. If you make a mistake, please print out the receipt by, print, by pressing the print last receipt button on the bottom right of the screen and write void on it and give it to your supervisor to correct. 
Never, ever leave your drawer and money open without being present. Ask your supervisor to get your money back from the safe. Put the money in your drawer before you leave the bag. Make sure to leave the coin bags in the money bag. Leave the money bag on the table. Go out to your register. Swipe your card to sign on. Press the function button on the left of the screen. Then press the log on drawer and then which drawer you'd like to log on to. Put the drawer inside, the coins closest to you, and close the door. To get back to the main page, press Home. If you run out of a certain kind of bill or coin, your supervisor can replace it with some of the coins or bills that you do have. An example is two quarters for a roll of pennies. To blow up a balloon, take the desired balloon from the drawer. Go over to the helium tank and place the lip of the balloon over the nozzle on the top. Press forward or backward. This releases the air. Blow up the balloon to a good size and then tie it. Do not put balloons with holes back into the drawers. Throw away broken balloons. Use the ribbon to tie the balloon, but not too long. Give a discount. First, make sure this discount is displayed somewhere in the store. Do not give one unless authorized to. At the bottom, uh, there will be a red discount button. Press this and press the correct amount on the top up window. Make sure the item is to be discounted is highlighted and not another that is on the check. The add fund plus account, go to tender. Press the add to funds account button. Next, put in the amount of money that they would like. Plus, flex plus, and then yes. Make sure there are no things on the check. Take the card and swipe it. Press yes. Press the button on where the, on how they are going to pay. Go to the transaction as you normally would. If it is a Visa or a debit card, three different receipts will come up. Then you just find the one that says user signature and also the regular one. Any other transaction will have a user signature receipt come up. They must sign this signature. You must keep it. We have an option to buy candy, gummy bears, and trail mix by the pound. Press bulk candy. Put in the item price. It will be down on the register. And the machine will do the work for you. Make sure that you put the candy, gummy bears, or trail mix that you have put in the bag onto the scale. To check the balance on the ID card, go to the tender button on the left. Press the big button that says check balance when then press the button for either Flex, Dollar, or Flex Plus. A window will come up. Swipe the card. Press Yes. A receipt will come out with the, with the balance amount. Give the receipt to the customer. If someone is buying a salad from the salad bar or something from the daily bar, press the stir fry button at the top. Make sure the food is on the scale next to the register. Press the salad bar button. If it asks you for an amount, type in the amount with the keypad on the right with the number to given, given to you on the scale screen in green letters. The computer will give you the monetary amount. 
find out what the employee meal is so you know if it's the $4 or not. Ensure that the employee meal privileges are not being abused. No breakfast items after 3 p.m., except for the breakfast items that are normally sold throughout the day. They can only buy food from the salad bar, soup, grill, stir-fry, and only two pieces of fruit. Nothing else is for the employee meal. If the employee meal is $4, employees will be coming to you to buy them. If their transaction is less than $4, tax not included, punch the items that are being purchased. Then go to the tender button and press the employee button. There are two and either will work. A receipt will come out. Have the employee sign it and then keep it. Put it in the slit in your drawer. If the transaction is over $4, tax not included, then they must pay the difference with their own money. If this happens, an error will come up on the screen. Type in $4 with the keypad on the right and press the employee meal button. This will give you the amount that the employee owes. Then you can pay cash or credit or flex dollars. Have them sign. Transactions. Say hello. Be polite. Punch in or scan food items and make sure that they are correct. Communicate with the customer. Make sure the ticket and what is on the box or bag is correct. Ask them if that is all for today. Tell them the total. You can use multiple ways to pay for a transaction, but cash must always be done first. This is because it is the only one that can be typed in. The other cards can only be used to pay for the rest of the, of the ticket. You cannot split cards. If they give you cash, you can use the denomination buttons of $1, 5 and $10, or $20. If they have given you any of those bills, or if any other amounts, Type it in with the keypad on the right screen and then press the cash button on the bottom left corner of the screen. This will give you the amount for change and also open the drawer. If there is an exact cash, just press the cash button to open the drawer. If they want their receipt, press the print last receipt button on the bottom right. This can only be done right after the transaction, not after another transaction. If they want to use a credit or debit card, ask them for their ID. It must be theirs and match the name on the card. There must be a name and a picture on the ID. We accept Visa, American Express, and MasterCard. Press the button for the correct card. A window will come up on the screen. Swipe the card. Two receipts will come out. Have them sign one. Keep the signed one and put it in the slit of your drawer. The other one is for them. If they don't want it, put it in the recycling bag for the receipt. If the transaction does not go through and says it is denied, don't say it's denied, but ask them kindly if they have another card to use. This is more polite. If they want to pay with Flex Dollars or Flex Plus, they will give you your, their ID. If it is Flex Plus, they will tell you. Flex dollars are for those that have a meal plan. Flex plus are for those who want to put their own money on their card. Press the flex dollar or flex plus button on the bottom of the screen. A window will come up. Swipe the card. If for any reason it does not work, never type in the numbers. Direct them to the accounting office in the cap. They can fix it there. A receipt will come out. On it will be the amount they can have left in your account. It is in brackets next to their name. Give them the receipt. For gift cards and department cards, simply press the tender button on the left of the screen. There you will find a button for VIP department cards and de 
and Dining Express gift cards. Press this, these buttons when appropriate and after the window comes up, swipe the card. Like the flex, a receipt will come up with the amount left on the card. Give them the receipt. If they have a coupon, you can only use it for that individual item. You cannot ring up several items at once with a coupon. The coupon must have a bonus IM on it with an expiration date. Do not use after this date. Pay attention to what the coupon is for. An example would be a coupon for a one entree stir fry. Punch in the one entree stir fry and make sure nothing else is on the check. Next, go to the coupon balloon button, the one that is on the top rows. Near the bottom on the right will be a button labeled Open Coupon. Press this button. A window will come up. Type in with the keypad on the right the amount of the monetary amount of the item before tax. Press Enter. A receipt will come out. Wrap the coupon in the receipt and put it in the slit on your drawer. After they have paid, thank them and tell them to have a good day. When you are done and ready to count your money, go back to the function button and press the log off door button. The door will open. And you can take the drawer out. Be sure to take out all the receipts that are underneath the drawer with you. Go to the back of the store where the counting table is in the donor's table. Make sure to sign off. Take the orange sheet by the office, fill in the date, time, and your name, and start counting your monies. You can put the amounts on the back where the, it is blank. Count the individual denominations and put down the total. Then subtract $125 from the total and put that amount also. You will also need to count the amounts of receipts you have, not the money amount, but the actual amount of individual receipts. Make sure to write down how many Visas, American Express, and MasterCards you have. Ask your supervisor to print your short receipt. They will check your totals of money and receipts are correct. Work it out with your supervisor to get the correct amount. Please try to get the exact amount. They will then print you a long receipt. Put the right amounts of each column out in the front of the orange paper. For the Visas, American Express, and MasterCards, put the amount of total money that is from your short receipt. Sign the orange paper and make sure your supervisor does also. Put all of the receipts, including the long one, into your money bag. Also put the cash and coins in there. Put the coins in the coin bag. If there are enough coins to put into the paper coin covers, do so with the covers that are in the safe. Put the orange paper in the bag. Zip it up and lock the top. Do not lock the top unless you are sure everything is in the bag. If you are done your shift before the accounting office is closed, turn the money bag to the accounting office. If you are the closing shift, give your bag to the supervisor to put in the safe. Morning shift. A cashier has to get his or her money back from the accounting office in the morning. It might also be in the safe or from the manager next door. Bring your own ID card and pen. Set up monies in the drawer. Set them up this way with the pennies, nickels, dimes and quarters from right to left and the ones and the fives, eventually the tens and then the twenties from right to left. You can put your extra backup coins on the side like in the picture. Make sure there is enough receipt paper in the register for the whole shift. Make sure the soda syrup in the storeroom for each soda is full. The cashier must set up the Coke machine. Fill up the ice machine with four buckets of ice. 
Make sure that the drink nozzles are placed into the machine correctly. Set up the pastries such as the scones, turnovers, muffins, bagels, etc. Put out the sushi chef and so owner order. Sometimes these come in the morning. Make sure the condiments by the microwave are filled. Fill the drinking cooler with ice and water and put it out by the microwave. It can be found in the dish room. Make sure there are enough water cups to run the shift. You must make sure that there are enough paper goods, napkins, plastic utensils, bowls, cups, lids, and straws for the whole day. Check and make sure the microwave is clean and presentable for the day. Make sure that the correct utensils are put out with the food at the salad bar. Turn the cocoa machine and make sure there is cocoa mix in the machine and there are cups for the customers. Make sure the silver fridges are organized and that the merchandises are visible to the customers and that the prices match what is on the computer. Get the keys and open on time. Count the money 15 minutes before the end of your shift. Afternoon shift. Bring your own ID card and pen. This is number 15, we are recording. Ask the supervisor for your money from the safe. Set your monies up in the drawer, like the picture. Make sure there is enough receipt paper in the register for the whole shift. Make sure the pizza is put in the warmer. Each pizza is prepped. You can find it in the walk-in. Put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Cut it into six slices and put it on the small plates. Put the meat pies and other foods that have been cooked in the warmer. Put hot dogs on the hot dog roller. If they are frozen, boil them in water until warm. Put the hot dog buns in a container with a lid and a pair of tongs in front of the hot dog roller. Put Manapua's and pour cash in the Manapua machine. Make sure they are labeled. Also make sure that the Manapua machine has water in it. Make sure the soda syrup in the storeroom for each soda is full. Keep the dining and service area stocked with paper goods and condiments. Take the trash out before the busy times. Prep for these busy times. Set up the soup. Make sure there is water in the soup warmer and turn it on to level 5. Get the soup from the back and place it in the warmer. Make sure there is a ladle and the proper soup sign. Signs can be found in the office. Set up the shapers for the bars. We do not have one every day, so make sure that the day has a bar. Whether have a taco bar or a noodle bar. Put one three inch pan in each shaper. Fill each with two inches of water if they will have heated food in them. If they have cold food, put ice in the put ice in the pan. Ask what bar it is and start bringing out the stuff for the bar. The bar needs to be ready by 10:30 a.m. Make sure the sign for the bar is correct. Put two sternos underneath the shapers that need to be heated. Continue to check the bar, ice, and sternos. Make sure that the area is clean. Make sure the muffins, fruits, bagels, manapuas are refilled and that all foods are stocked, including the sea store. Make sure the signs are properly placed. Refill the salad bar and refill the ice in the drink machine. Check the cocoa machine to make sure there is still a lot of mix for the day.
Count your money 15 minutes before the end of your shift. Closing shift. Bring your own ID card and your pen. Ask the supervisor for the money from the safe. Set up monies in the drawer. Make sure there is enough receipt paper in the register for the whole shift. Make sure the soda syrup in the storeroom for each soda is full. Add ice in the Coke cook machine if needed. Keep the dining and service area stocked with paper goods and condiments. Keep the food stocked. Check the cocoa machine to make sure there is a lot of mix for the day. When you are closing, turn off the lights in the salad bar service area. Move the chips to close the area off. Do not do this until all the customers in this area have purchased their items. Turn off the cocoa machine. Wipe inside and outside of the machine. Take the catch cherry to the dish room and don't forget to bring it back before you leave to go home. Get the small cart and place all the salad bar items on it. Take it to the back, cover and put date labels on each of the containers. If there is a tiny amount of food in the container, either transfer it to a smaller container or dump it. Put the utensils at the dishwasher. Pick up the food particles out of the ice. On Fridays, you need to melt the ice and clean out the whole salad bar area. If the soup is gone, take the pots to the dishwasher. Make sure you turn off the soup warmer. Put the sign away in the back office. If it is not out, take the pots to the deli area. They will try to sell it there. Bring them the sign. Wipe down the pizza warmer, monopoem warmer, and all other machines in the service area. Wipe down all the counters also. Make sure all foods are stocked up for the rest of the night. Make sure all paper goods are stocked for the next day and that the trash is taken out. All four trashes are your responsibility. Count monies and make sure that before you leave the ship, you let the supervisors know you are done. Ask them to check your area. Thank you for watching this video.